Welcome to Bilgewater. Bilgewater is a haven for smugglers, marauders, and the unscrupulous, where fortunes are made and ambitions are shattered in the blink of an eye for those fleeing justice, debt, or persecution. It's a city of new beginnings. No one in Bilgewater cares about your past. It's a melting pot of all cultures, race, and creeds, alive at all hours of the night. The city is also incredibly dangerous, but it's ripe with opportunity. Bilgewater is a port city like no other, home to monster hunters, dock workers, indigenous people, and traders from all across the known world. Almost anything can be purchased in Bilgewater, from outlawed hextech weapons to the favor of crime lords. There's no better place to seek fame and fortune, though death lurks in every single alleyway, and the law is almost non-existent. Bilgewater is located east of the continents of Valorin and Shirima, and south of Ionia in the middle of the Guardian Sea. The Isles have many notable landmarks and locations. Situated in the lowest parts of Bilgewater are the Black Market Grottoes. This is the primary location to buy wares and favors. Bilgewater's lowliest inhabitants dwell in a labyrinth of canals and hidden inlets. There is no separation between the homes they build and the sea where they ply their trade. The bay is the entrance to the largest settlement in Bilgewater. Rat Town. There are a few landmarks to be aware of. Butcher's Bridge. Looming over the main harbor is Butcher's Bridge, an ancient stone overpass built into the cliffs, connecting the bustling piers with the notorious slums below. While some still use it to access the temple of Nekaboros, most now gather to fight duels or exchange illicit wares. In addition to the deadly currents, hidden reefs, and the constant threat of piracy, massive sea monsters are a constant threat in the waters around Bilgewater. Fleets leave port at sunset every night to hunt these mighty beasts, and if successful, they return to the slaughter docks to render the once great creatures down to meat, bones, and armored hides. The sea around the slaughter docks is often darkened with the blood of slain sea monsters, and the chum draws sharks and other predators into the harbors, stirring up a violent froth. In Bilgewater, the dead are not buried, but are given back to the ocean. And this is where it all happens. White Wharf earned its name thanks to the layer of bird waste that covers it from end to end. The graves of the dead lay suspended in the cold depths, marked by hundreds of bobbing buoys. The graves of the poor residents have merely name posts tied a mast to old anchors beneath waterlogged barrels. The wealthy, on the other hand, have lavish tombstones with carvings resembling various sea monsters, and their bodies are often interred within expensive caskets lurking just below the surface. Regardless of social status, the boatman ferries all bodies of the departed to various graveyards scattered in the straits surrounding the city. It's almost impossible to talk about Bilgewater without mentioning Beru and the Serpent Isles. Beru is the home of Bilgewater's native inhabitants, and its culture has been reflected heavily in the Isles' everyday life. From religion, to architecture, medicine, and even monster hunting techniques, all aspects of Beru are highly respected in Bilgewater. Wildlife and fauna may not be very diverse on Bilgewater, but species found here may not exist anywhere else in Runeterra. So here's some things that you can expect to see on a normal day in the Isles. Seagulls and scuttle crabs are commonplace in the Isles, but unfortunately, so are wharf rats. Wharf rats, sometimes called razor fins by locals, are amphibious quadrupeds that are a terrifying blend of shark and rat, commonly found on the docks of Bilgewater. They were once used to keep the docks clean of debris. These creatures are larger than your average dog, and they often travel in packs. Their streamlined bodies allow them to move surprisingly fast, and their speed is only matched by their ferocity. They're armed with razor-sharp teeth and poisonous barbs on their tails, though most people don't survive long enough to see the barbs. Dredge dredgers are goblin-like creatures that live around the Serpent Isles and Guardian Sea. They are sentient and sapient beings able to wear humanoid clothing, use tools, and express themselves. It is unclear if they have one eye or two, since members of their race often wear squids as hats. Dredge dredgers have yellow skin and share visual similarities to yordles. I covered yordles in a previous video, League Lore Bandle City. Ironbacks. Ironbacks are squat, bipedal creatures that resemble turtles or tortoises. While not as tall as humans, they are wider and heavier. They're domesticated and used for combat as they make excellent siege engines tearing down whole structures with ease and surviving most blows due to their thick hides. Ironbacks are included in monsters shipped to the black markets of Billswater to be trained and sold as mercenaries and entertainment. Other creatures included in these illegal trades are octopods, plunder crabs, and of course, razor fins. Powder monkeys. 
Powder monkeys are simian creatures that originate from the monkey idol. It's currently located on the serpent isles. They are small in stature with fur that has a gunpowder color and glowing yellow eyes. They often live and gather around people or areas where there is heavy use of gunpowder, hence their names. They are mischievous but can provide useful enhancing gunpowder related weapons with their unknown magical powers. Seahorses. Seahorses are large equine creatures that live around the Serpent Isles. Contrary to their name, they are mostly land-based creatures, being used as a mode of transportation by some Bilgewater residents. Their key features are their fin manes, long tails, as well as their scale-like skin. Bilge Bitter. Bilgewater is home to its own citrus fruit similar to the real-world bitter orange. It's been described as, quote, not for everyone, end quote. Due to the high risk of crews developing scurvy, it's still very popular. In the end, Bilgewater Bay is as dangerous as it is exciting. Visitors are often seduced by the seemingly limitless opportunity, and they become permanent residents, realizing that the longer they stay, the more they can exploit others for power and wealth. And while the pirate-friendly town has little respect for the laws of other nations, its ports are always open. <laughs>